What's up guys, my name is Greg and if there's one thing that irritates me the most is when I'm done editing my videos or done playing games that there's no place to put my headphones. So this is my attempt of my own DIY headset stand. Let's go. So we're starting off with the foot piece of my headset stand and we're going to use a 16 millimeter plywood and I'm going to cut it in 17 millimeter strips. Now I'm going to glue all my wood together on a 45 degree angle. While I'm gonna wait for this to dry, we're moving on to the next step. Now, we're going to bend this piece of wood. <laughs> Did you honestly think I'm gonna bend it? <laughs> but this is my version of bending wood. I'm going to cut my wood to size, and then I'm going to try and cut this wood as thin as possible, as thin as a hair. So I'm done cutting all my pieces of wood. They came out super thin and super flexible. Now I'm going to iron or steam all of my small pieces of wood, build a small jig so they will be able to bend, glue them up and clamp them together so they can stay in this position. Let's go. So I'm just going to build a quick and easy jig for this project. I'm not going to spend too much time on this item. So I'm using a paint tin. This is exactly the curve I want. And then I'm just going to put some pine at the back just to clamp everything together. And this is how I'm going to do it. While we wait for our circular wood to dry, we're going to cut our foot piece at a 45 degree angle, 20 millimeter pieces, a lot of them. Let's go.
Now I'm going to glue everything back together again into the specific angle you're seeing right now. Let's go. My foot pieces are basically done, now I'm just going to route the edges, sand it off nicely, and just close all these small holes and then the foot pieces are done. Let's go! The moment of truth! Let's see if my contraption is actually going to work. It was at this moment that he knew. He f I can make it work. My first jig didn't work out according to plan. This is going to be my second attempt. I built this quick jig and let's hope this one's gonna work out. This is day two of my headset project and honestly speaking, yesterday was a massive failure for me but also a big learning curve. My both attempts of bending wood failed, I'm not sure if it's the wrong methods I'm using but it didn't work out according to plan. This was attempt one, this was attempt two, it just didn't work out according to plan. I've got another solution, so this is plan C of my headset project. I'm going to try and cut the mold into this specific shape. This will ultimately form a guide for my router, so I can cut my wood according to this size. Let's go.
So this is the mold I cut that's going to form the shape of my headset stand. So all my circular pieces has been cut to size, now I'm going to glue them up and once they are dry, I'm just going to give them a final sand. I also need to make a minor adjustment on my foot piece. It's too big, I'm going to cut it in half and route the edge in between. Let's go. Now just a quick coat of varnish and then we're done. This project definitely tested my patience. A lot of failures, a lot of mistakes, but no regrets. At the end, I learned a lot. This is all for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button, so you don't miss out on any future projects I'm posting. Cheers for now.